I became interested in art while in college. I went to NYU and I studied business. And I never thought of studying art formally, but I always did like art. Uh, going to college in New York City, there are so many great museums, just like there are here in Washington. And so I started appreciating art and thinking that, you know, art is something that's really important and special and, um, and that maybe it was a way that no matter what you did in your career, that you could achieve greatness. It's a way to entertain yourself. It's really fun to do. It's, um, I don't think anybody would do it except if they were taking a class where they had to. I don't know if anybody else would do it unless they like doing it. And art for me was something I could do in my room with my music on, with my friends chatting with me. And I could use my ideas and my creativity to kind of come up with cool uh, art. But eventually my art evolved into collage. I think um, going back a little bit as a business student, when I graduated from school, I was still just drawing for fun. So I never thought this was going to be my career. I got a job in the, in the food business. I became a food salesman. But every chance I had, I would draw. So I started making gifts for all my friends, making Cubist portraits of them. My brother uh, got married and, you know, he had, after he did his photo album, he had a stack of proofs that you just, what do you do with those? So I cut them all up and made a beautiful heart-shaped uh, gift for him and his wife that had little elements of his whole wedding in, and with materials that were really just, you know, useless otherwise. And from there, I made my first cereal box collage. This, this whole idea of saving materials and turning them into art became my thing. I was living at New York, in New York City at the time when I had this Frosted Flakes box and everybody used to put their garbage into a little bag like maybe you got at the store and throw it down the chute. But the cereal boxes seemed to be too big to put into those bags. So people would just leave them in, you know, next to the chute. And so I'd go up and down the stairs and find several cereal boxes and a lot of the best ones were not necessarily the cereals that I ate but they were perfect for collages is this was an image that everybody recognizes even when it's chopped up into and and the image is all mixed around like this it seemed like something so american i called it portrait of an american classic and as you can see, it's glued onto a piece of cardboard, which was the back of a writing pad. The idea of being able to deconstruct it so simply and put it back together in a mixed up order made it more interesting to look at and almost a game to try to recognize it. And then I started creating pieces that had elements of hundreds, possibly even thousands of different packages. This is the Gettysburg Address by Lincoln. And to me, this is just as much uh, pop art as the Frosted Flakes box, because the Gettysburg Address, four score and seven years ago, is something just as famous. Everybody, every American certainly has heard of it, and then might not know that much about it. But it's one of these subjects that the more you learn about it, the more interesting and rewarding it is. And this inspired me to try to think of other ideas, like the preamble to the Constitution, and Shakespeare quotes, and the number pi, and everything. It's turned life into a, an endless search of interesting subjects that I think I could take what I do and try to create something about it and it gives me the opportunity to learn about that subject.